you said you came out of this angst of I'm atheist and I want to I want to know if there's truth but there was a sense of urgency a sense of tension yeah I wonder if if we've lost in our culture some of the urgency some of the tension yeah some of the recognition that I need a savior a lot of that maybe because we're no longer in a culture that really persecutes. I mean, we're not in the first right. century Jewish culture or the first century yeah. uh, Roman culture. You know, I was in a, 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 a rental van yesterday coming from Chicago, and I drove up from Chicago. And while I was in the rental van to get to the rental uh, uh, office for the car, there were three or four different kinds of football fans in that. And they were talking to each other about what they thought was true. And there was a Packers fan and a Bears fan and a, a, a Panthers fan and a Giants fan. And they were making a case for what they believed about each team. And one of these guys, uh, and we were all sitting around talking about it, and one of them made a case, but it was clear that he was wrong on three or four important claims related to his team. And we all realized... Well, he doesn't really follow the sport very well. He has no <laughs> idea. Those, those people don't even play on the team anymore. They were there last year. Oh I mean, it's like, you know, he's not paying yeah. attention. Right. So we realized that in, in this group of guys talking about football, there was one who wasn't really that much of a fan. He, he kind of called himself a fan, but he didn't know anything about it. So could you, we would almost say, well, he's not a real fan of that yeah. team because he would know this already. Well, gosh, are we the same way as Christians? You know, if, yeah. you, if you ask us what we believe, you know, we, we say we're Christians, but we make statements that really aren't consistent theologically with what we see in Scripture or don't represent the Christian worldview as it's classically understood or are just a actually opposed to something that's taught in Scripture. Then you realize talking to someone like that, well, I know he calls himself a Christian, but I kind of wonder if he really is because he doesn't seem to know anything. And what he does know is, is not, not even accurate. So I think that's part of it, right? We, we want to be right. the football fan who actually follows the team so well that we're like a part of the team. Well, we want to follow Jesus so closely that we are always in his shadow, right? We're never that far. He can reach out and touch us. But we have to know enough about who we're following yeah. in order to make that powerful. Yeah. And what I'm disappointed with usually is that the reasons why people say they're Christians, really everyone says these reasons. They're, you know, I was born in the church or, or uh, I've had an experience right. that kind of leads me to believe it's yeah. true or I feel something. Yeah. This is what everyone says. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know what separates your sincere beliefs yeah. from the sincere beliefs of others? Because sincerity alone you can be sincerely wrong. Yeah. So, so you, you have to be careful. If, if sincerity is the goal, then everyone's in. Nobody's out. And nothing really matters as long as you're sincere about it.